In this tutorial video, we're going to learn reconciliation by calling web services for extending data. We will be using a sample data set that we have created for Facebook pages. So for that, we can open, open Refine, click on Create Project, choose, choose Files and browse through the file that you want to select. So we are going to select extending data underscore data set which we have created. Click on open. Click on next. So this is going to upload your data. And as you can see, the data is parsed. So now we click on create project. And this begins to create your project to begin with the manipulation. Now these are the rows and columns that are created. So now what we have to do is we want to fetch the URL by using the ID column. So this ID column that you can see is going to help you to link the website which is going to fetch the data. So now we click on the drop down for Facebook ID. Then we click on edit column and we go to add column by fetching URLs. In this expression bar, we are going to write the web service by which we are going to uh, basically extend the data. So the web service here is HTTPS graph.facebook.com Close them in inverted quotes and put value over here. Now in the new column name, you're going to give it a column, a column name. Let's give it as, as URLs. And this is a throttle delay. This is basically the time limit between each URL request, which you're telling open refine. So in this case, I'm going to give it as give it as 200 milliseconds. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now, as you can see, the open refine is fetching the URLs based on the Facebook ID column. Now a new column is created named as URLs, which has all the data that has been fetched from uh, the website that we have given. Now, since all of this is in the form of JSON, we'll have to parse it to make it more readable. So we go into this columns dropdown, we click on edit column again, and we go to add column based on this column. Over here, we are going to give the expression of parsing. So we are going to write it as value, which is going to take the value of the column and we're going to give the function parse JSON. And since it's a function, it will have rounded brackets. And after that, you have to give the part which you want to exactly fetch. In this case, it's going to be the link. So I'm going to put that in square brackets and inverted quotes. And I'm going to give it a new column name, say links, since that is what we are fetching. And as you can see in the preview, it is showing what the value is being fetched. So you know if you're going right or not. And then you click on OK. Now a new column is being created by parsing the value of the column URLs. So now it's created. You can see on the right, these are the links that have been created. So now if you click on this link, you will go to the web, the page Suppose this is the link that I will click. So as you can see, it opens the page for Michael Jackson on Facebook. So this has completely enriched our data. It is not ambiguous anymore. So we are not left with simply some IDs, but we even have the links to which we can click and make it more precise. I hope this tutorial enables you to extend data by using OpenRefine. Thank you.